Listen up, drivers. There is a new rule on the road in Oregon. It's all about keeping families safe. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 5 o'clock. I'm Dan Tilkin in for Jeff tonight. And I'm Jennifer Hoff. We want to first go to our Chris Holmstrom, who's live with how the move over law is changing in the new year. Chris? Yeah, the law first went into effect back in 2010, but it only applied to emergency vehicles. And in that time, too many people were injured, some even killed, that now the law is updated. Now the laws expand to protect anybody who's pulled over and in distress. Detective Mark Pavoni is with the Washington County Sheriff's Office. We've all seen too many fatalities or injuries where people are getting hit and killed on the side of the road. A concerning thought. That's why the Oregon Department of Transportation introduced the bill. In fact, they say between 2011 and 2015, there were 167 serious crashes on Oregon highways. In those, eight people were killed. And they were all incidents where a vehicle was parked on the side of the road and there was no emergency vehicles. This new law is hoping to curb that issue. The move over law is designed to get people to slow down, or move over a lane if there is the ability to do so to make sure that the people on the side of the road can be safe. Here's how it works. If you're driving and you see a car in distress, you must move over into another lane. Some signs of distress include seeing flashers, putting on flares, or showing signs there is an emergency. If you can't safely change lanes, slow down at least five miles under the posted speed limit and try to provide as much room as possible between you and the distressed driver. Even though the law gives you the option, I would ask that people move over the lane if they can. That's always going to be safer just to give that extra space because it gives you more time and space to plan for something unexpected. And if you get caught not moving over, a ticket will cost you $260. Reporting live from Southwest Portland, I'm Chris Holmstrom for Coin 6 News.